Good morning, people. I'm filming this on Wednesday, so maybe a couple of days later. Nice to see you're on the internet again, wasting your life away, just like me. How you doing? So we're in uh, Rothsay, Minnesota right now. Roth, Rothsay, Rothsay. And we're on our way towards Iron Ridge, Wisconsin with a load of lumber. After that, we gotta go down empty to Middlebury, Indiana. Just a little bit of a hike, but it's worth it in the end. Pick up some trailers and bring them back up to Manitoba. And then I've gotta be home for a family gathering. Uh, it's for my sister's birthday, my birthday, and my dad's birthday, and Easter, all put into one, I believe. And that's on Sunday. So gotta be home for that, and then on Wednesday, Britt and I have a, an appointment with the doctor, and then I'm back on the road pretty much for the rest of the month. Because I've already had a few days off at home just the last couple of days for my birthday, and I'm, I'm gonna have a couple more days off at home, and that's all the days really I have for April. So it'll be go, go, go for the rest of the month. Well, lots of footage for you guys. I know you guys like the footage on the road a whole lot better than uh, when I'm at home, but there's more to my life than just trucking. You know, the vlog is supposed to be in uh, an outlook on the whole life and experience as a truck driver from my perspective and in my region where I'm from. I do uh, go all over North America, so all of Canada and the United States. Lately they've been keeping me a lot in the Midwest and Western Canada and uh, you know Indiana. Then again I have been going through Michigan and into Southern Ontario quite a bit recently so you know, we've been stretching our legs and having a lot of fun. Glad you're here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I know a lot of you who are watching. Actually 51% of you that are watching according to my analytics are not subscribed. I found that to be interesting and a little shocking. So if you don't mind it does do me a, a a big favor does more for me than you think it does if you go to the below the video just hit that subscribe button on YouTube and if you want to hit that bell beside it that'll give you notification when my next video comes up because I do make a video every day and if you enjoy this one maybe you'll enjoy the rest too all right let's get on with our day we got a long way to go 783 kilometers about 500 miles you ready to go bud you ready to go or what I need to go outside first man and when you can the old man go outside and relieve himself first, man, I'm not young anymore. Yes. I'm a little hungry, too. You have your food back there. You still didn't eat your supper from yesterday. Is that because you miss your mom? <laughs> Maybe. Poor guy. <laughs> Uh, he hates leaving Brit anywhere. He's really attached to Brit, which I don't know. I love it. I love that my boy loves her so much. It's our boy now, but Diesel's been with me for almost eight years now, seven and a half years. She has a way with dogs. She's the dog whisperer is what I call her. She can get any dog in the world to love her. And I'm usually the dog whisperer too. I can get any dog in the world to love me too, except for Dashens. Nope, for some reason, they are one owner dogs. And just wait, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta get your old man steps out for you. Okay. All right, you old man. Come on. Old man weasel. Here's our load. You didn't see it yesterday. Going all the way down. Oh, there's a big puddle. Of course there is. Okay, Diesel, let's go around the puddle. Good boy. You know what's going on. I don't want to get my paw dirty, me. Such a pretty boy. I like it. That way he doesn't get my truck all messy. Hey, Diesel, come here. Hey, this way. This way, bud. Hey, no. No, don't eat the poop. Come on. He's trying to figure out who was here, man. I think that was Ralph. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, definitely Ralph. Oh, look, Patch was here. Yep, that's good. Come on, bud, hurry up. So we're on kind of a late schedule. I've sort of gotten myself on the schedule on my time off. But uh, yesterday, I was going to get going really early and get my schedule back on track. But there were so many things going on in the morning. 
uh, that uh, I couldn't get going till almost supper time. Uh, I had a whole bunch of stuff to get done before we left or before I left. Britt's not with me this trip. You may have figured that out already. She came with on the last trip. We did get a dusting of snow here last night yet. But it's pretty much all going to melt today before noon, I bet. Spring is officially here. And I welcome it with open arms. You almost done, bud? Hey there. Hey, bud. Less sniffing, more of you know what. Hey. Hey. Go on. Go on. There you go. We won't watch him. We won't watch him. You sort of got to encourage him. Whoa. Oh, now he's really excited. You're going to pull me right in there with you, buddy. You sort of got to like coach him and encourage him. Otherwise, he gets distracted with all the scents everywhere. He forgets why we came outside in the first place. Chevy does the same thing. Oh, Diesel, you got your leash all tangled up in that branch. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. Now I'm going to have to come over there and tangle you. Oh, no. Oh, those are thorns, too, are they? Oh, you're making it worse. You're making it worse. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Stay. What did you get yourself into here? What did you do? No, 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 Diesel. You're making it worse. You stay. Oh, you tied a knot, did you? Oh, dear. Oh, man. Okay, so we'll put this around here. Just stay there, Diesel. Just hold on. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand. Okay. Get that up here. Does that help? No, that made it worse, too. Oh, boy. I'm going to need two hands for this, aren't I? All right, there we go. Around there. Definitely not working. Okay, I'm going to need two hands for this. Ha-ha! Freedom! Okay, don't do that again, bud. Come on. Go back in the bush. No, 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 no. You're not done. You're not done, you goofball. Come on. Diesel, hey, this way. Come on, bud. Back in the bush. Get in the bush there. Finish up, bud. just for a triple check to make sure that my trailer is attached and is not going to fall off into traffic. That would be very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Here we go. Off to the races. So yesterday was a really good day for fuel economy because the wind was helping us. Today I don't think we're going to have that, that little bit of help. Seems Mother Nature isn't really doing much today except giving us this beautiful sunshine. There's not a breath of wind out there. Not here anyway. So we're gonna go from here to Alexandria, Minnesota and fuel up. I can't put in too much fuel because if I fill up all the way, I'll be overweight on my drives. So I can only fill up one tank. I don't really like traveling this heavy. I like to be able to fuel up completely and not have to worry about being overweight, but sometimes when duty calls, you gotta answer. You just gotta haul the freight, make sure you stay legal, do whatever you gotta do. Minneapolis, St. Paul. I've seen some police vehicles go flying past on the shoulder. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of accident up ahead. Looks like there's a kind of a cloud of smoke up there. I don't know if the camera picks that up. The GoPro doesn't really pick up things in the distance very well because it's kind of a fisheye lens. I don't know what's going on here. There is some construction. Like there's some signs saying that there's a detour ahead. So I wonder if there's, I don't know if the police are rushing past or they could, well, they, they could be rushing past for any reason. They might be going to a domestic call in a different neighborhood down the road, or maybe there was an accident up ahead, or... Uh, curious to know what that cloud of smoke is. Pretty sure that's a cloud of smoke, like, sort of directly ahead of us, just a little off to the left.
probably just construction. Up here it says County Road 49, Rice Street exit closed. That's probably confusing half the people out here. Pretty sure they're gonna close the lane sooner or later. That's really gonna confuse everybody. Fuel economy today has been doing great though. I'm averaging 32 liters per 100 kilometers right now, which uh, I'd have to do the math to find out what how many miles per gallon that is, but I'm doing better fuel economy today than I was yesterday with the wind pushing me. Look, I'm pulling 45,000 pounds of wood and I'm getting the same fuel economy that I get in my pickup truck when I'm hauling the camper. That's good. Just all this stop and go doesn't help that at all. It looks like that cloud of smoke is like way in the distance behind the trees. Oh, I thought it was on the highway. Well, who knows what that is. Turned out to just be construction and there's the police off to the right just catching speeders going too fast through the construction zone. That's all that was, all that backup was, they didn't even close the lane. The lanes just narrowed. And people got scared of the big construction machinery, I guess. <laughs> Imagine how bad it would have been if a lane would have actually been closed. Good thing I love driving so much. Otherwise that would have been very frustrating. We definitely got some kind of kerfluffle going on here. I see police lights, I see two trucks in the in the median. What happened here? Where's the swift truck that caused all this? <laughs> Is that it over there? It's a white truck. It might be. <laughs> How much you want to bet? Actually, from here, I don't think it actually is. But here's this guy parked. Uh, oh, he's not parked. He. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this guy. Well, come on in here, pickup. Look at that. Oh, went right through the median. Oh, and there's another one up here. This is that white truck. I don't think. It's swift, but for some reason I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Oh man, that guy's messed up. Oh boy. Oh, how does that happen on dry pavement? It wasn't swift. It's not always swift. Come on guys, give swift a break. That is interesting. Doesn't look like anyone was hurt. Just uh, a lot of pride was damaged. This is a perfect day for driving. I really don't know what could have caused that. Maybe someone's tire blew. Who knew? Who knows? I'm gonna have to stop for my half hour. The government says I need to take a rest. Why is there a pickup coming in this side? Trucks mean big semi trucks, not Ford F 250s. You're supposed to be on the other side, bud. Uh, where do we wanna park? Where do we wanna park? I wanna park all the way at the end. All the way at the end. Way over here by myself. Nice. Right here. Ford F-250 that came in behind me and parked in a big truck spot. <laughs> it's Ford F-250, it's not a big truck. Oh well, lots of room. Lots of room. No big deal. Really nice rest area once again. We were here much longer than we wanted to be. But Diesel got a good walk. I got to relax a little bit. How'd you like it, Diesel? It was, it was very nice, you know, there's a dog over there, man. It's a very nice break, but you didn't let me say hi to the dog over there. There he goes. Diesel, he's in that car over there. Where? No, no, he's not over there. There he goes, over there. That SUV, there was a dog in there. He was my friend, man. I don't even know his name. He was my friend, though. So we were here long enough for the computer to shut down. With my e-log on it. 
Whoops. Now we gotta wait for it to boot back up before we can go. It wasn't that long ago that it was pitch black at this time of the evening. About 7.45, quarter to eight. And look at this. I, I love this time of year. Just as the days keep getting longer, it's just it keeps building up and building up towards summertime. Warm weather, beaches. Not that I get to enjoy any of that this year because I'll be working. <laughs> we're just gonna grab some fuel here again. Uh, we're just about at our customer. So uh, gotta fuel up twice today because I can't fuel up all the way. So I'll be overweight if I'm full of fuel. Well, we gotta take her easy and just fuel up a little bit more often. So we're here uh, in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. 